Hi guys, so this video is about an email I got from Chapel Hill Denim, the stockbrokers that I invest with, that I buy um, Nigerian shares and invest with here in Nigeria. Most of you may already know about Chapel Hill, I talk about them quite a bit on the channel. So they sent me this email about the FGN savings bond September offer and I just wanted to bring it to your notice if you don't already know about this or if you do and you're skeptical or you don't even understand what it is. I'm going to try to shed some light on it and make you help you decide whether or not this is something for you okay so first of all what is a bond a bond is simply um, one of the safest forms or vehicles of investment in the investment world because it's simply like you borrowing money to a a government of a country in this case the nigerian government once you're issued that bond and you accept the offer you are entitled to a fixed annual interest rate so every year you get a percentage of the amount that you have invested on so the, the reason why this is considered one of the safest forms of investment is because you're you're borrowing to one of the most credible establishments there is in the world which is the government of a country so if you borrow money to a government it, it seems like you're borrowing money to the establishment that controls everything else in the country and if there is no money for instance they have the power to literally print money and pay you back that's how powerful they are and that's how that's why bonds are considered to be so risk-free but still it's investment there is risk whether or not um, it's bond or anything else there is risk in any form of investment so anyways um, let's just go through this email they, they did a very good job to explain what it is and um, I'm just going to breeze through it with you guys so they said the debt management office which is DMO on behalf of the federal government of Nigeria has announced the September edition of the FGN savings bond and Chapel Hill is an accredited distribution agent designated to offer the um, FGN SB uh, to investors. So this is a breakdown of how everything goes. The offer is for a subscription of the FGN savings bond which is due by September 14, to, uh, 2024 and September 14, 2025. Okay, so this is how long your money is going to stay in the hands of the federal government before you get back your your capital and then the interest rate is 11.041 percent and 12.041 percent annually 11 11.041 percent is if you're going for the two years package and if you want to stay longer and have your have the government keep your money and do whatever they want to do with it for um, three years then you get a bit more percentage annually from your investment so um, interest payment is payable quarterly so every three months they pay you um, your interest but everything is going to accrue to um, 11 or 12 percent depending on what package you choose um, at the end of that year 5,000 naira is the least you can do and maximum subscription is 50,000 naira that you sorry 50 million naira that you can do so if you have 100 million you cannot do this unless maybe you want to do it in different accounts for under different names and stuff like that this is chapel hill and you can see on chapel hill if you want to buy stock and buy shares you cannot create an account I, I made a video telling you guys how to create an account on chapel hill yes let me go back to the email you can see that you can create um your you can see that you can create an account normally on chapel hill you cannot create an account which is why i made a video about how to do it so but here this is specifically for the bonds you can create an account i'm going to click on create an account and you can see now that i can start to create the account by entering my bvn and my date of birth and all of that so that's the first step let me just create an account and walk you guys through the whole process and we see the interface i've really not done this before so i want to also see how it works so after you enter your bvn and your date of birth you are required to provide your mother's median name your place of birth your email your password and you confirm your password let me quickly do that so after clicking on continue you should get to this page um, which is very different from the regular um, chapel hill denim investment page so you can see here that um, you get different types of offers that are different from um, regular buying of shares and buying of stock so you have bonds here and mutual funds okay i think this offer has ended i think yes the offer is closed this offer um, was for a mutual fund and I couldn't get on time to sh share this with you guys but anyways on the investments tab we can go to bonds and you can read here it says um, there's a pop-up that says to invest you need your phone number your bank details is required next of kin details is required KYC is required and um, other things that they might ask you to do so if I click on continue 
I'd have to fill in these things first before I can go on to purchase. So all of that is updated now. So let's go back to investment and go to the bonds. And now you can see it opens up for us to um, place our order. So um, we're going to select an amount. Let's say we want to buy 1 million. You can select the tenure, which is two or three years, just like we saw in the email. If you are a resident of the country or not, you select from here. So if you want to read further about why this is, why they're doing this, so about the savings bond, there is stuff here. They're talking about how the purpose is to deepen the national savings culture to provide opportunity to all citizens to enable all citizens participate in and benefit from the favorable returns available in the capital market to diversify funding sources for the government. I think this is the one and only reason. Um, we already know that the country is deep in debt and they're looking for ways to source funds. Everything else, um, I don't think they have your best interest at heart, but still it's a good um, investment opportunity because in as much as the country is in a bad place right now i still feel like um stuff like this will be beneficial to anyone that's the reason why uh, um, a lot of investors and a lot of people who understand money understands that when there's a crisis there's actually opportunity for people who can play smart who who know that when there's a downturn it doesn't automatically mean um everybody's is, is in trouble okay it forces the government to do stuff like this that allows you to invest your money um and 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 make some returns of, off of it so take for instance you have um three million naira. three million naira cannot build you a house okay but this is equivalent to leasing or owning a home for the next three years that you take rent on in nigeria so you know for instance that um the typical rent for um, a nigerian home can range from 50 100 100 000 to somewhere around 300 000, yes so if you take three million naira, which you cannot use to actually build a home and invest it on a bond like this that means you you're, you're going to get a a yearly yield or year, yearly return on investment of three hundred thousand naira, which is almost guaranteed. Um, so that's like somebody renting your house out to someone and they're paying you three hundred thousand for rent every single year. And then so in the next three years, you know that you're going to make um, somewhere around nine hundred thousand to a million on this without actually doing anything. the The key thing here is that it's passive. You don't have to do anything your money works for you that's the whole essence of investment so if i want to continue i just select the payment and they are using pay stack and if you click on pay now you actually now start to um, um, run the payment process and there is of course a fee so if i'm going to do 1 million i have to pay 2000 for charges for this um, transaction because it's a lump sum so so thank you guys for watching this video let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next one take care